Hey, and welcome back to Split Second Science. Today, we will be talking about Phasimer, an exciting new technology that could propel us to the red planet in just 39 days. Wow. But before we get started, I want to note that I now have a schedule, one new video every Saturday. So, let's get rolling. Vasimir stands for Variable Specific Impulse Magnetoplasma Rocket. Basically, here is how it works. Basically, gases such as xenon, hydrogen, and argon are ionized, turning them into plasma. This cold plasma then gets energized by electrical energy, heating it up to millions of degrees. The energized plasma then gets shot out the back, slowly accelerating the spacecraft to the velocities needed for space travel. This only works in space, so it can't take off or land, so you will need to launch it into space with a rocket. The Vasimir engine could be used to scoop up space debris, eliminating the hazards of small objects spams, uh, slamming into satellites and space stations. Also, it could definitely land on the moon, but would it take off from the moon's 16% Earth normal gravity? Probably not as that is still quite a high gravitational force on cosmic standards. I mean, the moon's escape velocity is still a good 5,000 miles an hour or so. Also, this would be good for Mars. Basically, here is the concept. A rocket carrying the Vasimir would launch into space, releasing the spaceship. The rocket would go back down to Earth for reuse, while Vasimir takes the trajectory to Mars. First, acceleration. It would take a good 18 days for it to reach maximum velocity, somewhere in between 30 and 70 miles per second. It would remain so for 5 days. <laughs> then, it would take 16 days to decelerate. Overall, a 39-day trip to Mars. The spaceship would remain in orbit, and the lander would be used to, well, land, as the name may or may not imply. Another proposed use is that Vasimir could be used to reboost, sp reboost space stations, which is a great idea. So, Vasimir is a promising technology that could sweep debris from orbit, refuel the ISS and future space stations, and take us far beyond Earth, like, to Mars far. Either way, hope you enjoyed this video. If there are any science or history topics you'd like me to cover, let me know in the comment section built down below. This is Split Second Science, signing off.